どうなんでしょうか。Wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the s h out of me. t h i s my name out your mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife. G.I. Jane のジョークだったんです。I'm going to, okay? Got serious there, obviously.、Uh, Will Smith and,、uh, and, and Chris Rock at the Oscar War Show. Chris Rock was not hosting because、uh, as we turn it on here at home, it was just random. I was like, is he hosting? Because he was up there looking like he's the type of guy that hosts, I believe he has in the past. But he was just presenting one particular award but for a documentary film. And we're going to get to that in a second. But、um, the joke, the G.I. Jane joke, as you heard the Japanese voice over there say,、uh, let's at least get into what he said. That got Will Smith to the point where he blew up at him and walked up on stage. So he said,、uh, so here's、uh, from、uh, News UK、it、says, Chris Rock was presenting the award for the best documentary film when he turned to、uh, Pinkett Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith, in the audience and said, Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane too, can't wait to see you. Of course, referencing her bald head. G.I. Jane, Jane is a well known film released in 1997. And it follows the plot of protagonist Jane, who's played by Demi Moore, who famously sports a buzz cut. Now, Uh, there's an image of that,、um, of that movie and、uh, Demi Moore playing that role.、Um, and at first, as maybe you didn't see, as they were doing the,、uh, before Will Smith ran up on stage, he made the joke. Uh,、um, uh, Will Smith was laughing. Jada Pinkett Smith was rolling her eyes, like, here we go again. Can't take this. She looked visibly annoyed. That's when. We see the interaction that happened on stage.、Uh, so afterwards, Chris Rock did try to play it off, as you guys said. He said, Will Smith smacked the S out of me. Will Smith said, Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. All that went down,、um, as, as we saw from that particular video. Now, some of there's some background here, David, to why this potentially blew up to this point now in 2022. Because back in 2018, just get to this graphic, number five, you guys, Pinkett Smith, who suffers from an autoimmune disorder called alopecia, That attacks the hair follicles, resulting in bald spots and hair loss. She opened up about her issues with it during an episode of her talk,、uh, her show Red Table Talk. And she explained it was terrifying when it first started. I was in the shower one day and I just、uh, handfuls of hair in my hands and I was just like, oh my God, am I going bald? So since then, as you've probably seen, she's shaved her head and she's sporting a certain way, still looks great. But that joke apparently took them over the edge. This stuff got crazier, David. Because later on in the show, not even much further on in the Oscar show, Will Smith then received the Oscar for Best Actor for his role in depicting Richard Williams, the Venus, Venus, and William, Venus and Serena Williams' dad in that film. So he was up there, he was upset over it, went up there crying, Will Smith did, and he had some of this to say. Richard Williams was a fierce defender of his family. Seeming to allude to this viral moment. In this time in my life, in this moment, I'm overwhelmed by what God is calling me to do and be in this world. I'm being called on in my life to love people and to protect people and to be river to my people. I'm going to get rid of that airplane in a second. Now I know what to I, now I know to do what we do. You got to be able to take abuse, you got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. Smith then delivered his mea culpa, through, though without mentioning Chris Rock. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my fellow nominees. Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father that,、uh, just like they said, just like they said about Richard Williams. Love will make you do crazy things. So,、uh, David, there's been the debate online, obviously, Twitter and all of the socials from any regular folks to the most known blue checks.、Mm-hmm. And everyone's on Team Rock or Team Smith. Look, I,、uh, I think air traffic control is、uh, certainly not on Team JR and certainly doesn't <laughs> like、uh, Will Smith either. But、uh, here, here the, here's the issue the way I see it. First of all, it was a terrible, terrible joke by Chris Rock. I mean, it was horrible. It was insensitive. This is a disease that、uh, Jada Pickens Smith cannot control. She's been open about it. It would be like joking, like, you know, somebody who's dying from cancer about, oh, you're going to start decomposing in a few weeks. I mean, it's just, it's terrible. Having said that, The best response would have been instead of Will Smith initially just sort of pretending to laugh, if he just would have just glared while his wife you know, rolled her eyes. Because then everybody would have understood that what Chris Rock just did was terrible, was reprehensible, and the shame is on Chris Rock. But the moment that Will Smith decided to get up and like physically slap him, that's where I was just like, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't. I mean, I understand the anger. I understand how infuriated he must be, given that his wife's condition and how frustrating this must be for him to have her made fun of. But you still, you can't get up there and physically engage in violence. And that's where I, 
Look, I don't think I'm on either team. I just I just think that you know Will Smith should not have done it. There's a lot of, uh, I think, um, obviously there's the history, there's the back and forth. There's things about he and uh, Will Smith and his wife's marriage that have been very public, that have been talked about, sifted through, made fun of, memed, everything has happened. And I think a lot of those fell into this. Now, if that's your problem, if you've got issues with the way other folks have talked about you and your marriage, or the things that happened, how it almost broke up, how it did at one point, all those details, which to a degree, I tried not to even pay attention to because that's not really my business, but I get that everyone else was. If you're upset about those things, get upset about those in those moments. Now, if you're falling apart, if you're spinning, and you just can't handle yourself, hey, yeah, sure, the rich and famous also have their problems too. Um, but to come up on stage and then swing and walk back smirking and smiling and then saying you were this uh, Richard Williams figure and you did it out of love, I think that's when you're starting to lose people. Because by the way, let's watch this next video here because at, at the after party, was he still crying? Was he still upset? Watch. I mean, look, and then also during that commercial break right after it happened, Denzel Washington, Tyler Perry ran up to uh, to Will Smith to comfort him and Jada, like, are you okay? Hey, we'll make sure that you're good and all this. Um, Chris Rock got hit. Yeah. <laughs> Again, and for that joke that was made up there, and whatever judgment you can make about the joke, whatever you want. But there's all this history, there's all this past, and I just don't think this is gonna end up being a good look. And by the way, Chris Rock decided not to even press charges, which many people expected him to do. Which may be gonna make make him look even better. I don't know. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think this is a terrible look for uh, for Will Smith. And and again, I mean, sure, I can sort of understand his anger and his frustration, uh, but he took away from his own sort of moment. And I feel like maybe that's what Denzel Washington was trying to say to him: say, look, you're at the top of your game. Don't take away from it. Don't allow the sort of the evil impulses or whatever sort of control you feel like you have or power you have to get to you. Uh, and so maybe it was you know part of both comforting Will Smith, making sure he's okay, but also saying, look, you know, take control of yourself. But yeah, the fact that there wasn't anybody who went up on stage and say, "Hey, Chris Rock, are you okay?" That was a terrible joke, but you didn't deserve to be hit. I mean, you know that it, again, it gets to you know a lot of people have said that Hollywood is is so sort of weird about this stuff, and I think this is one of these sort of moments where a lot of people outside of L.A., the rest of us who don't have Hollywood as sort of the main industry in our town, are looking at this thinking this was a weird night to begin with. The whole episode was strange. It's strange that Chris Rock was just a presenter, is then cracking jokes and making fun of people in the audience, and then this is the reaction, and now people are siding with Will Smith, and and yeah, make sure Will Smith isn't going to have another outburst and tell him to calm down, but. But did somebody check on Chris Rock? Right, um, I feel like weird. it's pretty basic, it's pretty basic. So my last thought on this, because also right. um, when you talk about, it, it throws off the energy of the night. Uh, 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 Summer of Soul had just won that documentary right after Chris Rock presented it. That whole moment was ruined. So it's not just about Will Smith, it's not about your wife, it's about you, let's keep it real. 